Electrocution, drowning, contaminated water and even crocodiles. Floods pose plenty of dangers. But now a new game is teaching children and adults how to survive rising waters. Just a few weeks after its launch by the UN, Sai Fa the Flood Fighter topped the charts for educational apps in Thailand. The lead character has to navigate his way through various obstacles and ultimately not get killed. I'll follow the advice of the game by cutting the electrical circuit. I know more about floods, what I should do and what I have to prepare. In 2011, massive floods submerged large swathes of Thailand. At least 800 people were killed, including 100 children. Ayutthaya province, where the game is set, was particularly badly affected. Temples, car factories and villages were underwater for weeks. The water came from the neighbouring Bangchom Shri Dam during the night and early morning. The water came up to my head. But floods are not confined to Thailand. Other nations such as the Philippines, Bangladesh and Indonesia all regularly battle rising waters. And now the game's designers hope to reach as many people as possible with a new English version of the game. This is something that we still think can be attractive for other uh, countries as well. They might not know the temples of Ayutthaya, but at least the design is very cute, it's playful and it's fun, and that is the most important, that people enjoy playing. Drowning and electrocution might be more common than crocodile attacks, but at least kids who play the free game now know the risks.